How is it going, everyone? And welcome to day nine of my uh, my twelve days of tips of Christmas. Sorry, twelve days. I don't even know the name of my own series. And uh, well, basically today we're going to be ta talking about uh, typography. And this is uh, actually a requested one, and it's not going to be p uh, particularly short. As uh, well, I want to basically explain it like thoroughly. I think I'll do it in two parts because uh, it is quite. Uh, it does take quite a while to explain it all. So. I'll show you what it looks like, it's a little example. This is one I prepared earlier. Um, and I, right, I'll show you. Just let it blo um, load a bit there. Say hello to my little friend. So as you can see, what it does is, um, on each word, you get the text coming up. And well, I think it looks pretty nice. You can add it to your videos, um, you can customise it, you can do literally what you want with it. And it's really about you being creative. Um, and yeah, so if you um, if you want to add it to your montages or if you just want to learn how to do it, this is definitely uh, the tutorial for you. So um, let it, yes, let's get started. So I've imported my song or my uh, film bite, which I'm using the Scarface "Say Hello to My Little Friend," and um, basically. You can use whatever you want, uh, you can do like lyrics to a song as I've said, you can do it to another film bite or like a quote that someone said, but um, yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my drop down, go to audio, and then go to waveform. Uh, on this one it, it's not really clear what, what's being said on the waveform, so I'm not going to be using that. But uh, I'm just going to do it by ear, but you can use the waveform. If if the waveform is evident where the word starts, and yeah, that's a good way of doing it, but... This isn't too clear, so I'm just going to play it through and uh, find out where each word starts. So the first word I'm listening out for is my. No, say. So <laughs> Say. It's definitely say. Right. Um, so I'm going to push start. So I can. I heard say there. Starts there. So, and I think it finishes about there. So where it starts, I'm going to go to the start of the word and I'm going to push Command uh, Shift D, or it could be Control Shift D on there. PC and what that's done is it's created a new little uh, layer and I do this for every word basically so find the beginning of each word I think hello's around here so if I play here hello uh, I think it's there hello. Hello. yeah there it is so command shift D or control shift D next word audio waveform so where's the next one is it here to say hello to yeah hello to my I think it's here That's it. So, command shift D there. Um, we have the next one, drop down. I think my is there. No, it's there. So, command shift D. And as, so, you just do this. Now, uh, I've already prepared it because, you know, it takes quite a while if you're going to do the whole thing. So, here's my pre prepared version. And as you can see. Oh, I don't know what I've just clicked there. I think I clicked that. Right. Um, Say hello to my little friend. So there you go. I've so I've already done that one. So now what I'm going to do is just to make it a bit more tidy. No, I'm not. I'm not going to do that yet. Sorry. So now I'm going to create a new and uh, black solid. So new solid, black solid, and I'm just going to extend that a bit like that. And now we're going to start importing our words or our yeah, our words. So gonna get your uh, little text tool and you're gonna type the first word which is say in my case but it might be whatever now personally I think the one syllable words should be the smallest so I would pick the size depending on like how many syllables the words got uh, say being obviously quite a small word because it's got one syllable and the bigger words so maybe two three syllables then you give make them bigger and I think that that's better but uh, it's up to you or maybe the keywords you could uh, extend but it's up to you so say and I know say starts there so I'm going to start, say there, so it'll, there's the first word there, start and say, and then that'll pop up. So, now we're going to do the second one, which is hello. And we're going to start it there, so I can see. Um, right, hello. So, hello is going to be a bit bigger, I think. Not too much bigger, like, but a bit bigger. Um, so, maybe that. But just, like, organise it so it looks good, and... Uh, you know, just it's up to you to be creative with this. It's pretty easy once you get the hang of it. 
But uh, yeah, it's just down to you being creative. So the second word starts there, so that's where I'm going to direct that to. I'm just going to start the almost the timeline, the bar, on the second word. Now I'm going to go to where the third word starts, and uh, which is two. So I'm going to just type two. But because that's quite a small word, I'm going to just decrease the size to that. Quite well. Uh, I'm going to decrease the size quite significantly, and uh, a, bit, a bit smaller than that actually. 70, yeah, that'll do. And then uh, I'm going to rotate this one just to add a bit of an effect, just to make it look nicer. But uh, yeah, once again, this one is really entirely up to your creativity. Um, you know, mix it around a bit, just do what you want to, uh, what you want to do with it. I might put it there actually. I think that'll be look quite nice. Um, put it there. No, um, maybe on the other side. Ooh. I might do it on the other side, yeah. So, uh, you're just going to do this for every word, and I'm just going to quickly do it now, just to make it look, just to uh, show you. Say hello to... Direct that over a bit. But, yeah. So, there's that bit nearly done. I, I would honestly use my arrows if you want to get it precisely. Your arrow keys. So say hello to, and then two starts there. Oh, two... My is here, so my is also a small word, so I'm just going to do my. I am um, possibly a bit bigger than two, but say hello to my. Say hello to my little friend. There. And little's a big word, so I'm going to do it underneath here. And you could also do little, just because it'll kind of look quite cool if it was bigger. Just the fact that the word is little. Bit of a contrast. Um, maybe a bit bigger than that even. Go for a bit more size, there we go. Oh shit. There. And the last one is friend, so... I'm going to do friend up the side here, so friend. And the, the font I'm using for this is Bebas. Um, I can guarantee I'm going to get a comment on that, so there, there you go. If if you do manage to listen this long, the font is Bebas, and uh, I'm going to put that word there. I think I'm going to make it a bit smaller. Um, 110. There we go. So, now I've got that done. Oh, I need to put these in. I need to adjust the word to where it starts. So now if I play this through, which I'm going to do, that word starts there. Right, so I'll show you what it looks like. Say hello to my little friend. So as you can see, even though it doesn't say uh, it doesn't have any movement, that's the basic words added. So I'm going to show you in the next episode how to animate that and make it look better. So thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. Goodbye. <laughs>